Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Phoenix, Arizona with a frauditor that goes by the name of PHX Watcher. Now, this guy may have the word watcher in his name, but it's certainly not what he's doing in this video. In fact, he's trying to insert himself into an investigation that he knows absolutely nothing about and thinks he knows better than the officers. But nope, he's about to find out how poorly educated he is when he gets arrested and the officers explain everything that he's done wrong. So now let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, I should start off crazy. We go to park, and there's three people in the parking lot who just got maced. So let's see what happens here. It's a big presence. I'm just gonna go right to the corner right there. The right, let's go. I just looked before I even got off the sidewalk. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was gonna go right to that pole right there. Cool. Cool? Thanks. I got it. Right there is good. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Just. Okay, just wait. Listen. All right. I got it. Don't touch your phone. Well, now this presents an interesting little scene right here. And it's uh, something that the officer brings up later on because the guy in the car is actually communicating with the uh, frauditor right here trying to plead his case. Well, that's all right, but it turns out later on that this car is stolen, which ends up uh, changing the whole story. So, But in the meantime, we're going to see the uh, frauditor attempt to intervene on this guy's behalf. And guess what? It doesn't exactly work out too well for the fraud editor anyway. I'm right here. He's not a threat. I am. You say he's not a threat, but you clearly don't have the whole story because, like I said before, they're about to tell you that the car is stolen. Therefore, it changes the whole story because, well, uh, the guy could be uh, trying to escape the law and that could make him quite dangerous, which is why there's an officer over there with a rifle of some sort. So, dude, if you don't have all the information, don't pretend that you know anything, okay? Yeah? No, I'm right here. He, just, he doesn't know why he's being pulled over. I'm fine right here. No, I'm good right here. 
Talk to him. Not with traditional uh, CS gas, no. It's probably more likely a paintball gun with uh, paintballs filled with CS powder because so the normal CS gas is very short range, so that can actually reach out and touch somebody right there. Go talk to him. He doesn't want to fight. He wants to talk. He doesn't know why he got pulled over. For what? How is it lawful? How is it lawful? Well, let me uh, show you something that a, I found on a Long Island audit video that might help you figure this out. Law enforcement, if they request you to do something that isn't illegal, immoral, or, or in putting you in harm of physical injury or death, it's best to comply. Simple to the point and well said, but unfortunately, idiots like you will never be able to understand how that works. So let's carry on. On a public sidewalk. Go, go talk to, go talk to him, and he'll go. He wants to hey. he wants to cooperate. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Dude, what the hell? If he wanted to cooperate, there wouldn't have been this uh massive police presence over here. This happened for a reason and happened before you even walked up here. So you have absolutely no idea of what the hell is going on here in the first place. He, he just wants to talk. Just go talk to him. You guys are the threat. He wants to talk. I'm recording. Yeah, I'm 50 feet away. I'm 50 feet away. There's no tape. I got it still. I'm not a threat. He's not a threat. Dude, you're working off little to no information. And you're about to be clued in on the fact that they know the car was stolen and he stole it. So, basically, the dude is a threat. Lastly, they have no freaking clue of who you are, so, or if you're even with that guy at all, you could be a distraction as far as they know. So, you are a presumed threat because you are in communication with the guy in the stolen car. Can you get that through your tiny little brain, you freaking moron? You all with the guns here are the threat. That's not what he said. I moved on. Keep going. For what? Keep going. My boss already told you you'll be arrested if you don't What's move out of our crime scene. Going, name, and, name and badge number. Turn around and walk away. Name and badge number. Turn around and walk name away. Name and badge number. Tyrant, right there. All right. Go. Oh, we don't know if he is. Okay, put your hands up your head for us real quick. For what? Put your hands up your head. There you go. What are we doing? We're doing right now just because you weren't listening to us. I did. I moved. 
Not when I told you to and I gave you a law for loot. No, this wasn't mine. It was. It's something. Yeah, that was worse. There we go. Wow, really? I'm just up here. Yeah, then we're going to take the gun off you. Of course you are. Yeah. I'm sure you don't. Who's right here? It's in my pocket. My pocket? Yeah. So, hey, that's a Fourth Amendment violation. Because I didn't do anything wrong and I complied and I walked yeah, away. Yeah, right. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. I'm not gonna fucking run. I'm here. The issue is, as I told you, I was giving you a lawful order, right? You're standing right there in front of the car. If this dude is not complying with us, you do have a right to videotape. I right. Know you. Okay. But when you're impeding our investigation, because now I have to worry about you getting injured. Can you put the phone right here so I can record? It's, I got it on body camera if you okay. want to request I'll get or do whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it off to you because you're going to get a ticket. You're going to get a criminal ticket for oh, really? failure to obey, resisting, or opposing the police. Oh, fantastic. Okay, perfect. So if we tell you to do something, uh -huh. barring it's not illegal, immoral, or unethical, you got to do it. So if it's not illegal, immoral, or unethical, then you have to do it, dude. And they asked you to move in that general direction so you wouldn't get hurt. So it was... The order was not illegal, immoral, or unethical. So, dude, just walk down the road a little bit and use the zoom option on your camera to get the story that you want. It's that simple, dude. Especially since you're not at the point of monetization yet. You have definitely have less than a thousand subscribers, and at the time that... Uh, I started doing this video, you had less than 300 views on this uh, video, and you uploaded it five days ago. So, yeah, not too great of numbers at this point, dude. So, you might want to think about, well, backing off a little bit so you don't waste more money getting arrested than you actually making on your videos. Which is at this point, you're making absolutely nothing on your videos. And, uh, well, so which basically means at this point in your YouTube career, you're, uh, spending a hell of a lot more money on bail than you're actually making on, uh, your videos. No. Okay. No, yeah, no. that's how that works. I'm because, sure they do. That's how it works. Okay. I, how, I assume you're going to want to. I assume you're going to want to fight it, which is fine. I you will. can tell a judge your your opinion of it, and we can let a judge decide whether or not that okay. you're guilty. Okay. okay. Well, from here on, I'm going to invoke my fifth, and then we're going to go from there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. So I don't got to read your rights because you're already going to invoke and not want to talk to me about it. Absolutely. All right. Cool. I'm not going to jail, am I? Well, we'll see. We got a lot of cops here. Maybe one of them might want to take a job. Wow, really? No. I complied. I walked off. Yeah, I was there, but Fifth Amendment. Oh. Thank you. But do you, you get what I'm saying, though? I'm not going to put this in the report, but just for your safety, imagine if that dude had a gun, right? Uh -huh. And he doesn't know who you are, and he starts pulling a gun and starts shooting. And then we're obviously going to shoot back at him, and you get caught in the crossfire. Were you standing over there? I was standing over there. I was the one that yelled at you, saying, I'm giving you a lawful order that you got to leave. Okay. And you're saying he just wants to talk to you. Could you hear him? I couldn't hear him, okay? But he, the other officers could hear him because I'm too busy dealing with you. We got officers that are dealing with him, and now I have to deal with you because now you're in the immediate area, then you put yourself in jeopardy. That's why we have all these cars over here, and that's why we're telling you to do something because we don't want you to get hurt. And now my attention is divided to you, and my officer's attention is divided to him. You have a gun on you, which is fine. You can yeah. possess a gun, okay? But we don't know you just like you don't know us. So now we're not sure, are you this dude's friend? Are you this dude's buddy? Are you going to try to harm us? Are you going to try to do something to distract us so he can escape? All of these things we have no idea about, right? And you probably weren't thinking about this and thinking, what's the author's thought process? You're thinking about, I just want to videotape it, and I want to make sure that he's fine, that we don't do any, that the police don't do anything bad to him, right? Is that what your thought process was? That you're trying to hold us accountable? Right? It's fine. I've got no issue with you doing that. I didn't agree to anything on that. You assumed that. This is just me talking to you. I'm not going to put in the report. This, this is, 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 is cop-splaining. Is... Ah, cop-splaining. A term used by ignorant, closed-minded, 
frauditors such as yourself who don't want to accept the facts of the situation as they are, considering that you were interfering in a way with that traffic stop. As it was explained, you had no idea what the hell was going on there, and you interjected yourself, and it could have led to a serious situation if that guy had a firearm. But hey, you don't care if someone gets hurt because of your stupidity. Hey, that's part of life. And well, it's not your fault, is it? I'm sure that's what you would be explaining to yourself at night when you're sleeping in your jail cell. Be on the body cam. It, it's, it's red and it's reporting. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh. What's ridiculous? That you don't think that you should have to vacate the area? Is there anything you can do to expedite, expedite this? I, I'm sure you, you just want to stand here and talk, but I He's don't. running your name. Okay. I got nowhere else I got to be. I got to be here till 6 a.m. You got somewhere you got to be? No. Is the address of your driver's license, your MBE current, where you're staying at? Fifth Amendment. Okay. We're going to go over here to this car that's in the middle of the roadway. Actually, we take all the stuff out of your pocket. You're not really taking the jail. Well, I can't verify where you live because you pleaded the fifth. I can't issue you a ticket if I don't have a good address for you. Well, so yeah, the address is good. Uh, well, now, you want to play games, that's fine. You want to invoke your Fifth Amendment, that's cool. I don't care. And the only way that I can ensure that you go to court is by taking you to jail since you see a judge in the morning. But do you see when we start playing games and then you basically are forcing my hand into stuff? I don't know where you live. I can't issue you a ticket. I just told you where I live. Because now I'm telling you you're going to go to jail. And now you don't want to go to jail. Which I get it. But if we want to play games, like this is what happens. Yeah, if this is how you want to play games, this is exactly how things will end for you. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, and you end up getting arrested, and you have to go see a judge because you're a complete dumbass. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.